Okay, sixth graders, here we go. I have a little mini ca canvas, and I've drawn just the top of a cactus so you can see it. I have two different brushes. I have a large brush for large areas and a smaller brush for small areas and two paints, white and green. The first step is I'm going to paint the cactus green. Now, because you've painted your cactus white, the green is going to come out super duper vibrant. And I'm dipping the paintbrush about halfway so I never get any paint in the metal part, which is called the ferrule. I'm loading the paint on so I have a bright, vibrant cactus. And I am making sure that I have no lumps and bumps because acrylic paint is plastic based and it would actually dry lumpy. Okay, because I'm using the wet on wet technique, I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna switch over to my little brush with my white. So I have a small little brush and I'm gonna dip it in white. What I'm gonna be creating now is those lines in a cactus. I'm gonna go right on the wet green and I'm gonna make wiggly lines. And I want these lines to blend right in. So I'm dipping in the white and I'm making my wiggly lines. So what's gonna happen on the cactus, it's gonna look like those parts are coming forward and the darker parts are receding. You can also use the white to make texture by flicking and making the little prickly parts of the cactus. To finish this off, you just continue painting the green and then adding the wavy lines. The wavy lines are evenly spaced across the bottom, but they start at the same place on the top. And then if you make a mistake, you just paint more green over. Okay, you dip in the white. They all start at the same spot at the top. Dip in the white. Using the wet on wet technique so it blends together. And connect this line up here. And one more and then we're finished. One more. You do this for your entire cactus. And you can also use the same technique to make the little prickly parts. The little prickly parts, you want to put the paintbrush where they start and then flick it out. Okay, there we go. That's how we do it.